Writing in Google Docs with the Accent, Via Pro, and iPad with Lampwords for Life. Let's talk about writing with your Accent or iPad. If you're using an Accent with New Voice, connect it to your computer using the provided USB cable, or you can purchase a Bluetooth adapter from our online store. The text that's typed on the Accent will appear in your document. Now, if you're using an Accent with Empower or a Via Pro or the iPad app, you can use voice typing, which is a feature in Google Docs. There are some hints for that. Some voices do transcribe better than others, so you may need to play around with your voice settings. Also know that context helps. Create your phrase first, then press Speak Display to have it transcribed more accurately. Let's take a look at what that looks like. Here I have my Accent device with Empower software using Unity next to my computer. You do not have to have your device this close. I'm doing this just for demonstration purposes. On the computer screen, you'll see that I have a Google Doc open. I just made four text boxes and I used a table so that I can type in those boxes. So I could uh, show this on my smart board or on my computer screen, or I could do it virtually and share my screen with a student. So I'm going to go in and first make sure that I have the voice typing feature set up in my Google Doc. In my Google Doc, I'm going to Tools and Voice Typing. This will give me an option for voice typing and I can click on it to speak. I want to make sure that my cursor is um, selected in the first box where I want my text to go. First, I ask my student to give me a word to describe a mm -hmm. penguin. Watch as the word is described when the speak display bar is funny. pressed. You can see that it transcribed the word funny right into the dock. Move to the next box. I just simply press the tab key on my keyboard and now I'm ready for my next entry. And I can ask another student, what do you think a penguin is like? Use a word to describe a penguin. Black. Right. Now you'll notice because we still had the voice typing feature active, as soon as the device started talking, Google Docs transcribed what it heard. So we didn't push the speak message display bar, it just spoke directly from the device. So it said black and wide, but it spelled white incorrectly. But watch what happens if we press this message bar so that it hears black and white together with context. Black, white. So just hearing those two words together without any pauses in the middle helped Google Docs transcribe that more accurately. So just another hint when you're using Google Docs and your voice output device, you might want to use the speak message display bar after the individual has created their phrase because it will probably be more accurate in the transcription. To learn more about our products and services, visit us at www.printrom.com.